3. Hello everyone. In today's video, I have taken the topic Sources of Energy, which is Chapter 6 from Class 8. Sources of Energy, students, you have done energy in your 7th standard. What is energy? It is the capability of doing work. Now, the cap for the capability of doing work, that means to obtain energy, we require, all of us, we require food. Food breaks down to give the energy to us. But over here in this chapter, we will not talk about that form of energy. Rather, we will talk about the other form of energy. That is the mechanical energy, mechanical energy, chemical energy and heat energy, which generally we use in the form of fuels. Right. So over here, thus all these various forms of energies which you which we get from various sources, there is need to classify all those sources of energy because we have so many sources of energy in the form of so many fuels, petrol, diesel, kerosene, coal, wood. So there are n numbers of sources of energy. That is why there is need to classify or to categorize them. The sources of energy or the fuels, they can be categorized into many ways. The first way is on the basis of their occurrence. The sources of energy or the fuels on the basis of their occurrence, they can be divided into natural uh, resources and the synthetic resources. Natural and synthetic resources as clear from their terms itself, from their word itself, natural resources they are available to us in the nature itself. So those resources which are available to us in the nature, they are called the natural sources of energy. Example the solar energy and the wind energy. The synthetic for form of energy or the source of energy it is that which is not natural that is man-made so the man-made sources of energy they are come under the category of synthetic sources of energy example the chemical energy which we use in the batteries they are the example for synthetic sources of energy the next category is we can say that these sources of energy they can be classified on the basis of their physical state. Solid sources of energy, liquid sources of energy and gaseous sources, sources of energy. Solid sources of energy we have example of wood and coal. Liquid sources of energy or liquid fuels we have petrol, diesel and kerosene. For the gaseous sources of energy or gaseous fuels, we have two main examples over here, the LPG and the CNG. There is another nowadays in trend which is called PNG, right? But in your books, we have mention of LPG and CNG. What is LPG? This is used in the gas cylinders in the kitchen. Earlier, uh, many, all the houses, they were using the LPGs which used to come in the cylinders. What is this LPG? The full form is liquefied petroleum gas. CNG, the CNG which we use in the vehicles as a fuel, it is the, the full form of CNG is compressed natural gas. So these are the two gaseous fuels. The another third one, which is called PNG, it is called piped natural gas. So this is the classification on the basis of the physical state. The third type of classification comes on the basis of the availability of the sources of energy. On the basis of their availability, the sources of energy can be classified as renewable and non-renewable. Renewable, this word, what does this mean? Renew. Renew means to, re, uh, to repeat or to uh, regain right so that means it is made up of two words re plus new able that means all those natural resources that can be replenished naturally over a short period of time those resources are called renewable that means those resources which can be replenished again and again after finishing up in a short period of time these are called renewable sources of energy like we get our license renewed what does that means that you get your a new license in a short period of time 
and that is called renew of that license so over here renewable source of energy the same meaning will be valid over here that you will get the uh, source of energy again back in a short period of time naturally and that is called renewable source of energy since these resources they cannot be finished that is why these are called inexhaustible sources of energy example wind energy sun energy solar energy biomass these are renewable sources of energy on the other hand non renewable are those which you cannot replenish in a short period of time so those resources which cannot be replenished in a short span of time those resources if they are finished once they are finished forever you cannot regain them you cannot replay uh, replenish them again in a short span of time time it takes millions of years to be replenished so those resources are called non renewable sources of energy since they are finished they can be finished that is why they are called exhaustible natural resources examples are for all the fossil fuels so that means we have done sources of energy on the basis of the occurrence physical state and availability in the end we have discussed about the fossil fuels what are fossil fuels these are the non renewable form of or the source of energy which cannot be renewed again and again and the question is now why they are fuels they are named as fossil fuel fossil you have you have heard this word in biology fossil means that uh, the dead remains of the plants and animals which were buried deep under the earth the fuel it is named as fossil fuel it is called so because first it took millions of years to be formed the second it is formed by the action of heat and pressure on dead remains of plants and animals which were buried deep under the earth they have been changed into the fuel and that is why it is called fossil fuel there are three fossil fuel known to us the solid fossil fuel is coal the liquid fossil fuel is petroleum and the gaseous fo uh, fossil fuel is natural gas so these three are the fossil fuels which are available to us in the nature wood wood it is a major a uh, renewable natural resource why it is major because um, the majority of the population it uses wood as a fuel till date because in rural areas we use wood as the fuel why it is called renewable because it can be replenished naturally in a short span of time that is why it is called the renewable natural resource but why we avoid to use the wood as a fuel there are some disadvantages the two main disadvantages is that it produces polluting and harmful gases since it produces polluting and harmful gases which are harmful for our environment as we discussed in the chapter pollution of air that is why we avoid to use wood as a fuel the next is that it has a very low calorific value now what does this low calorific value means a uh, calorific value it means that uh, the amount of heat energy you get on burning 1 kg of the fuel that means if you burn 1 kg of the wood the amount of heat energy you will get it will be very very low that is why we say it has a low calorific value that is why we don't consider it as a good fuel so we have to use a fuel which has a high calorific value and which will not be so polluting and so harmful for our environment so this is all for the part 1 video from this topic of uh, sources of energy we have done the classification in three different bases we have discussed about the fossil fuel and about the wood Uh, in the next part two video, we will be discussing these three main fossil fuels in detail: coal, petroleum, and natural gas. Till then, have a good day.